You Mummy Mermaid is a post-dramatic piece of theatre surrounding the themes of feminism and women empowerment through the use of metaphor of mermaids, puppetry, and small stories being told through the wagon as, as a new stage. This engaging piece of theatre uses the fundamentals of post-dramatic theatre to promote and entice the audience to think about the themes of the play. According to Drama Online, post-dramatic theatre refers to, when considered in terms of plays, post-dramatic theatre most specifically registers a dissatisfaction with drama's two fundamental processes. The... The representation of the external world and the structuring of time. This type of theatre first came to light with um, Hans Les Lemon and his book Post-Dramatic Theatre. Post-Dramatic Theatre is generally used in order to portray and explore certain themes in, to adhere to a certain political statement. The main themes seen throughout the play, this one-hour play is feminism with underlying themes of environmentalism. Umami Mermaid provides social commentary through the through the ideas of mermaids in order to provide the woman in question with her taking back her the right of her own body and of her own life. This is seen through the uses of the wagon being used as, a, as another stage, using puppetry, uh, using the puppetry of the man involved in the current situation to create a layered performance. Within the three main stories, only the man is visible, only the man puppet is visible, and the woman is an unseen force with her finally taking control of her life being represented, re represented by the three different mermaids. The first story, two stories can, see, can have, have what can be seen as a happy ending, in which the mermaid takes over and they are able to escape. The third one does not have such a happy ending, where the woman in this story suppresses the mermaid. According to one source, intermediality can be summed up by the quote, intermediality as a concept is no longer reduced to being the mere use of various te media te technologies and live performance. Essentially, the essence of intermediality refers to merging of two worlds. This can be seen by the quote, Intermedi intermediality assumes a correlation in the actual sense of the word, that is to say, a mutual effect. M although you, mermaid, you, you Mummy Mermaid does not include as many elements of intermedi intermediality, it still uses it still uses lighting as a projection enhancement when it was shining on the mermaids, combined with the use of props and puppetry and chalkboard as a way of storytelling and as a way of intermediality. You Mermaid Mermaid uses many aspects of intersectionality as a way of storytelling. According to one article in 2016, intersectionality refers to three levels. The first being structural, political, then representative. Represent representational, referring to the different levels as marginalized group and represented media. According to the examples from the same article, structural refers to the structures of the social hierarchy in any given time, political refers to politics of a certain marginal marginalized group, and the representational refers to the way the social constructs are represented in, a different, in different types of media. According to another article written by Nikki Lisa Cole, Intersectionality refers to the same simultaneous experiences of categorical and hierarchical classifications, not including to not limited, including but not limited to race, class, gender, sexuality, and nationality. This article goes on to explore the idea that oppression and privilege are essential ways of measuring the intersectionality of a piece of media and or theatre. Through its ideals of feminism and toxic masculinity, through the symbols of the various puppets and happily named mermaids. It can be seen that you mummy mermaid shares many of the idea values of intersectionality. Through the uses of mermaid, it can be seen that the mermaid living with each within each woman, that these women are finally reclaiming their femininity and they are able to reclaim their the independence through the use of mermaids coming out of the woman's throats and attacking the puppet men. In it's also an interesting take on on g gender equality as the main as the main storyteller slash actor is a woman and the mermaid is the one who is, is the man. The mermaid is the one who does all the physical work and when released goes on to attack his suppressor when, which can be seen as a, a metaphor for his own struggle with escaping a certain, certain situation. Therefore, as it can be seen, You Mummy Mermaid is, a, is an example of what good post-dramatic theatre can look like. This can be seen through, mostly through the use of puppetry and the use of mermaids as a metaphor for something larger. The, this way, the way this show was able to use feminism and post-dramatic theatre to tell